Jason and I, it went wrong in every single way possible. Yeah. Well, I know that mood that Sonny's in. He was all imperious, ordering everybody around. The minute I heard that tone in his voice, I should have just kept my stupid mouth shut. Well, I don't like your stupid mouth just the way it is. You know, I'm convinced that that's the reason that, that Sonny's sending you out on this job in the first place, because of me. Um, he could keep sending you right into the line of fire. Yeah. I gotta go. Hey, come back to me. It's gonna be late. I don't care. And neither do I. Be careful. Always. Hardly ever is more like it. So it's gonna ask you what happened at the ambush tonight. Don't elaborate and don't contradict anything Jason already yeah, told him. Hey, he's on the phone with Bernie. Did you hear what I said? It's yeah. Kind I... of important, John. Okay, fine. Yes. You want me to tell Sonny that you orchestrated the ambush that was going to take out Jason? What? Come on, Claudia. You think it's my style to be that indiscreet? No, I'm just saying. you got to be careful. It's right here. What are you talking about? Look, you know what? If you have to sleep with that twice your age cougar, it's <laughs> fine. I can't stop you. But, Johnny, don't get her pregnant, please. Claudia, I don't know why you're so hung up on Olivia's age. Johnny. Uh, no. Johnny. Uh, what really happened tonight? Jason told you already. Yeah, but I want to hear from your mom. How did these guys, how did these guys know you were coming? Who the hell warned them? Look, everybody just calm down for a minute. You know, your buddy Jason wasn't the only one who got shot at tonight, Sonny. Your brother, you know, he likes living on the edge, taking chances. I just want to know if I can trust him. Sonny, you're married to my sister. Why would I turn on you? Maybe because I took over your father's territory and you're just laying low, waiting to take it back because you think it's your birthright. That's ridiculous. Actually, it's the most Claudia. ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I got this. Sonny, if that were true, then I would have put a bullet in the back of Jason's head and blamed it on the traitors. But instead, I saved his life, and he saved mine. See, that's what happens when you're in the woods and you're under fire instead of being here in your cushy living room behind walls and guards and bulletproof glass. So if putting my life on the line doesn't count for you, I suggest next time you find somebody else to handle the job. Okay, uh, do you want to know what counts? Did you handle the problem? Are they dead? There's no way of telling if all of them are dead, but I guarantee you, if one of them got away, we will find out soon. So, my 
sister thinks that you sleep with me to get Sonny's attention. Please, please, don't get me started on your sister right now. Please. I don't care if it's true one way or another, but I guess I'd like to know if it's true. You serious? Curious. <sighs> All right, let me, let me tell you a couple things about me and about Sonny. Number one, I've been there. I've done that. I got a t-shirt that says I survived Sonny Corinthos. Okay. Okay, number two, I don't hook up with married men. And number three, if I wanted Sonny, I would say so. Saying I want you. 